girl Joy back with another bango. Y'all know I'm looking crazy. I know. Uh, I just got out of the shower. It is almost 3 o'clock. I think it is. 3 o'clock in the afternoon. I don't know why I like to tell y'all the time, but I do. So I said, Joy, get your tail up. I've been watching videos, car life, van life, uh, Anthony, Avia, a whole bunch of other people that were actually very great um that are great and one girl who i don't remember the name of her channel um i don't think she's been at it that long but she made a very good point when she decided to do and she lives in her car i, I really don't want to do that I, I don't so i may have to start that way but anyway listen 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 calm down wait a minute how y'all doing you okay look i'm i gotta redo some of these braids I'm only going to do about eight braids. Eight braids will probably take me two hours, literally. So I'm just going to do this. So I'm going to cut these out and just redo those braids. And I know Clinton, he's really working my nerves. So he'll ask to use my car. And weekends, typically, I really don't go many places weekends. I just... Wanted, like I told you guys before, I just want to stay home. But if I have to run a little errand, like I wanted to go get some hair, I need the um, lighter color hair. So I just wanted to run. And he would have gone for me. He asked, but I couldn't remember the name of the shop. <laughs> so he was like, I'll go. He said, I'll just put you on FaceTime. And I just said, I'll go tomorrow. It's 3 o'clock. He's still not here. So I think he stayed at his friend's house. It really doesn't bother me. But I still would like to have my car if I wanted it, which... I just been in bed all day. I did get up and make me a huge breakfast sandwich. It was good. Let me tell you something. You make some scrambled eggs, put some Parmesan grated, degraded Parmesan cheese up in there. Bed, bed. Talking about good. And y'all know I make everything good. So I'm forcing myself to get up. Oh Lord, it's 3:40. So I force myself to get up. Sometimes I just want my weekends to be my weekends. And I just, I got a whole bunch of papers to grade. It's not that many, but it's enough. <laughs> it's enough, okay? I'm still, I don't know, maybe I'll just talk about that all, on my school channel, which I haven't been doing. So I'm going to try to get a little more consistent. I'm trying, but you know, I was in my funk. And I'm just crawling out tiny, 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 a little bit by a little bit. I forgot what I was going to tell y'all before, but it may and it may not come back to me. So the reason I jumped on, my house is a mess. So, I've been trying to clean out cabinets, trying to figure out what to downsize. Oh, I was telling y'all what the girl said. That was She made a very good point how when she decided to move into her car and she tells people, she said, because she just, you know, she's just, she's transparent. And she was like, yeah, you know, I love my car. She said the, the number one thing that irritates her the most <laughs> is that people feel sorry for her. She was like, no, it was a choice I made. And I'm not sure if she still has a job. I, I don't know. But she was like, it was, it was, it's a choice. It's a whole large community. Thousands upon thousands, hundreds of thousands of people who have chosen to live this way. And I did watch Abia's video. It was, it was good and it made a lot of sense. Um, and then she talked about Bob Wells. I never heard of him, but I did write his name and his channel on my mirror in my bathroom how he's been living a nomadic life for well over 20 years. So he's like the expert in this industry. And she went to his, um, I don't know, minivan, car living, everything show. And it was just real ins inspirational that, and I, and, and I kept saying these things, but I didn't really know what it meant. But she kind of made it come clear. Remember I kept saying, I just have so many things. It just feels, it's just things. And I just, I don't want the thing. It's just stuff. And I was like, as we age and as we get older, we just accumulate so many things, things we don't use and stuff. So it hit home for me. And, you know, I don't want anyone to feel sorry for me. I don't know what's going to happen. I may not I may <laughs> get up in that car, man, behind the bike, whatever it is. And be like, this is for the birds. Uh -uh. But I feel that sense of wanting to be free. I don't want things. I don't know and it's like another adventure something I've never done and I may not like it but I don't I don't want the weight of things on me and of course it's a financial move as well to be able to help the girls which I feel bad that I really can't help them you know <laughs> so Sydney um as you know if you watch my other video how my daughter irritated my nerves you need to go back and watch that video 
Um, so I didn't talk to her for several days, several days, several, several, several days. I finally spoke to her. I really have no, no, any much to say. Um, but she got her job. She's going to be working at a yoga, hot yoga place. So she got a job and she was excited about that. You know, so she, she will come home if she comes home like on her Thanksgiving break she came home that girl hustled she hustled up um her the rest of her tuition because we got a payment plan and um she hustled up I had to make some moves that I'm not proud of so I had to do some stuff Oof. it is what it is it is what it is I'll, I'll get through it I'll get through it you know to be able to help them out help us all out so you know, the struggle is just real. So at the end of the day, I know as I move on to the next topic of this video, I know that we're all going to go. And just like I was, I didn't really want to talk about it with my mom. No, I didn't want to talk about it with her. No, 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 no. And, you know, sometimes you got to know where's the paperwork? What do I do? You know, it's just me. So once I'm gone, my kids have nothing. They have nobody, you know, just their friends, boyfriends or whatever they have. But they don't like to talk about it either. But I'm like, it's inevitable. And so I do remember my mom, she put, she got all the photos, you know, the loose photos and stuff that was just laying around, lying around. And she did um, start to put them in photo albums. So I was able to snatch up the photo albums before the locks were changed on the house door. And I was, I no longer had access. That's a whole other story. So after my mother died, I was never able to go back into the house where I grew up. So I have photos of the kids. They're just random photos everywhere. So I kind of want to get that together. Not that I think I'm going, but it's still preparing. Just like some people have plots. Um, they already, you know, have their the, the, the place where they're going to go. They have that. You have life insurance. You have burial insurance. So that's part of planning because it's inevitable. One thing you're going to do on this earth, you're going to pay taxes and your tail going to die. But do you have everything in order for that day to come? So me, just like my vlog is preparing, um, like uh, leaving memories for the kids and so on and so forth. I mean, there's a lot that I don't know about my family because I'm, I'm not, cl I wasn't close, very close. And some things I just didn't talk to my mom about because I wasn't thinking that way. So with that said, I did order this. I saw it on you know Instagram videos and then I I will open the link and then I'll look at it saying it's something I wanted to do something I wanted to do because I've had I've been doing videos probably for 20 years 25 years no not 25 22 years and so I invested in this camcorder right but one day it just stopped working and so I have tons and tons and tons of videos of my children and I can't watch them. So I have all of these. I think this is, I think this is it. So I'm getting all of the cartridges together, so on and so forth. I got tons and tons of videos. Um, and it's called I Memories. And I think the box was, you know, to get everything um, shipped in, it was, uh, I think $16. And what you do, you send off all of your uh, videos. If you have the big round old school videos, I believe you can send in, um, what are those things you put in the, in the projector and it, and it um, they're little squares. I forgot what they go. I have tons of those too. But I'm not going to send those. But I think it's all video stuff. And then they'll digitize it. And then you can download your stuff and watch it on your phone. So I was thinking about getting all the videos together. And then creating um, something for each of the kids. You know, with the voiceover and so on and so forth. So this one goes back to 2004. Children's Museum in New York. Toys R Us apartments plus kids in new york so clinton on potty <laughs> bobby walking you know so these are things that the kids have never seen and they don't watch my videos anyway so i think you know if i can put up 
you know a clip together of each one of the kids and my voiceover like I kept, I kept a diary for Clinton um, I tried to give it to him he was like oh I don't really read cursive he uh, give it back <laughs> it wasn't gonna do anything so I still have that idea of writing a book uh, someday so I'm going to open this package and put everything inside and ship this off and hopefully it'll be ready before Christmas because I think Christmas is going to be very light this year and hopefully that'll be something good so hopefully that's if you have videos and stuff around um, it'll be a great idea something that you can do for Christmas and you know do a little editing and a little voiceover and it'd be a wonderful wonderful gift for uh, a loved one so that's what I'm about to embark on and then I'm going to try to do some schoolwork oh my gosh it's just it's just non-stop and then I still look around I'm like it's just still so much stuff you know and some of the stuff I haven't looked at in years but then the thought of throwing away is like ah! so it's about letting go letting go and letting that weight of things useless things go and so there's a um the culinary arts teacher at my school so I was looking in the cabinets um, in the kitchen and I found some things I was like I didn't want to let it go I was like Joy you haven't used that thing in about six seven years let it go so I wiped it off and stuff and I retaped the box and so I said every day I'm gonna send her something she's the same one who always um, brings me food <laughs> And so every day I said, well, Joy, because I found two things. I said, no, give her this one thing today. And then the next day you can give her the other thing. And so every day I've been giving her little things that she can either use personally or she can incorporate in her cooking class. So it's about paying it for it, giving back. So I got all the mugs out, donating all those mugs, donate, donate, donate. And so I did do that. So my table is filling up of stuff that I want to donate. Still trying to sell my sofa, end tables, dining room set, and treadmill that I have. Treadmill is getting on my nerves. I don't know. I may end up packing that up. Who knows? So that's where I am with that. Just trying to let things go um, and not wait until the last minute, you know, whenever I decide to get up out of here. Okay, with that said, um, I will let you know how the digitizing goes with this iMemories and getting my stuff back. But so far, so good. I'm not saying it's 16 It was $16 just to get the kit and get, it, get the um, ball rolling. I don't remember. I don't think it's that much per tape. So, I will let you know on that. But I'm really excited. I mean, like, to me, these things are priceless. So, you know, as long as I get them back digitized because... I have no way unless I invest in another machine. Mm -mm, I don't got time for that. That's something else added to my crazy brain. All right, guys. Give this video a thumbs up or not. Okay? And um, make sure you share this video. It could be a good idea for someone else if they have a whole lot of stuff and they want to create those memories for their uh, close family members or something like that. So, 